Here is a quick tip to create beautiful PowerPoint slides by letting ChatGPT and Visual Basic for Applications do the heavy lifting. And in case we haven't met yet, my name is Claudio. I'm a presentation coach who loves helping entrepreneurs and executives present with confidence and passion. So let's dive right into how do we use ChatGPT to create beautiful PowerPoint slides. The first step is, of course, visit ChatGPT and then prompt it to create the outline of a PowerPoint presentation. In this case here, I'm asking it to create a customer pitch for a fictitious product called Smart Pet Buddy. And I'm asking it to use no more than seven slides. And of course, ChatGPT is more than happy to oblige. And it created the following outline. Slide one, an introduction, then the problem, then the solution, benefits for pet owners, features, and testimonials, and finally, call to action. So once we have this, that's when the real magic begins. We ask ChatGPT to write the VBA code that creates the PowerPoint slides for this pitch. I also asked it to add content that is humorous and somewhat whimsical and to also not save the presentation and not close PowerPoint. This is specific to my situation. I'm running this on a Mac and for some reason I ran into a lot of issues when I used this default code that JetGPT generates, which is saving the application and then closing the the actual application closing PowerPoint. So I asked it, don't do that. I can always save that manually. And here is the code that ChatGPT provided. Nicely formatted VBA code, Visual Basic code. And you don't need to be a developer to really understand what's going on here. All you will need to do is copy this code and use it in PowerPoint in the way that I show you, and this will work. Now, it may not work right out of the box. Like in this case here, the first code that ChatGPT provided to me, it caused an error. So all you need to do is let ChatGPT know what the error is and where the error happened, on what line, and in its typical friendly manner, ChatGPT will apologize, correct the error, and give you a second code. In this case here, this code works like a charm. You will see that in just a moment. So we are going to copy this code, and then we are heading over to PowerPoint. And in PowerPoint, all you need to do is bring up the Visual Basic Editor. You can find that in the Tools menu under Macros and then select Visual Basic Editor. Or if you are on Windows, simply hold down the Alt key together with F11 and the Visual Basic Editor will appear. Now, once you get to this screen, all you need to do is right click on the project panel here and choose module, insert module. You can also do that by clicking on this little icon in the upper left corner. If you hover over it, you will see it says insert module. Once you have this window open, all you need to do is paste your code into this window and then run this code, either by clicking on this button here, run sub user form, or Select it from your menu. Again, run sub user form. Once you click on that in the background, it just now generated a PowerPoint presentation with the seven slides I asked it to do. But it doesn't look really that good yet. And I promised you, you will learn how to create beautiful slides. In PowerPoint, you have available a designer. And this designer is also based on AI, which means it will 
analyze the world on your slides and then suggest an appropriate design, including sometimes pictures. Let's see what it does here. Oh yeah, look, we have lots of different designs to choose from, including even something that has some animation to it. But in this case here, I'm gonna choose the first one. I really like this kind of design. So first slide is done. Click on the second slide. And again, the designer goes to work and let's be consistent. Choose the first one again. And on the third slide, again, in this case here, it gives me a cat and we rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Isn't that cool? In just a few moments, we created a slide presentation that not only has text on it and the structure that we wanted, but it actually looks pretty good. So I hope you're gonna give this a try, and if you like this tip, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I wish you a wonderful afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world, and we shall see each other next time. Have fun. Bye.